Okay, so we're back with another who is you've missed it. I know it anyways Let's go and before we do so leave a like a comment and a subscription for some extra love We need it on the channel. Okay, who is the penguin? Uh, Oswald Chesterfield Cobblepot first arrived in Detective Comic 58 and as most of Batman's villains he's created by Bill Finger and Bob Kane during his childhood He was teased for being short his obesity and for his bird-like nose. He came from a rich family and the reject- oh shit. <laughs> and the rejection plus his cash drove him to become evil. I know, very, very deep. No, no, it's kind of a cliche to be honest, but yeah, well, let's move on. Unlike other Batman villains, like the Joker, Victor Sass, the Scarecrow, the Penguin is actually sane. And what I mean by sane is that, you know, he doesn't have any master plans to take over the world. He, he doesn't have, you know, like the Joker, just commit crazy crimes. He's not a psychopath like Victor Sass, slicing his arms, uh, thinking of killing as, you know, freeing people, and you know, all that bullshit. And he doesn't, Mr. Freeze, uh, you know, all of it. He's not, he's, he doesn't have anything behind there. He just wants cash. And, and you know, popular. He wants to be popular. He wants cash. He more or less just wants to be a rich dude that some people respect. He needs that respect. The Penguin is more or less known as a mobster. And in recent comics, he's become the nightclub owner for the Iceberg Launch, which Batman uses to get intel in these new comics. And whenever Penguin is involved with any of the crimes going on at his launch, he's getting arrested. And what's kind of funny about the penguin is when he gets arrested, he doesn't always go to Arkham Asylum. I mean, there is comic book storylines where he's been put in Arkham Asylum. There, are, there, there is plenty, but some of the times he's actually sent to Blackgate just because, you know, well, he's sane. He's also known to love a few things. He's in love with birds, penguins, for example, but he also likes, you know, canary birds and all, all, all different kinds, like tropical birds and... That, that's something that the animated series shows off pretty well, that he has an interest in more than just penguins. He just loves birds. Which is, you know, it kind of fits well with a penguin guy. He's also very known to have his umbrella rifle, which is kind of cool in my opinion. That umbrella can do quite a few things. If I'm not mistaken, he's been flying with these umbrellas in some comics and some movies. Yeah, he can't do it all the time, I'm pretty sure, but he's done it in a few and it's like Batman's utility belt for Penguin. Yeah, he got an umbrella full with gadgets and other stuff. He's also known to always have some very pretty women with him and as I already stated, that's because he needs the respect and he needs people to look up to him. More or less, he's he's kind of obsessed with that. The Penguin is featured in many movies like the 1960s Batman TV show by Burgess Meredith. He's also shown in Batman Returns by Danny DeVito, where he's much darker, sadistic and deformed. You know, he got his hands like this. And that's something not all portrayals go with, really. It's something a few does to make him more villain-like, make him, you know, look weird and make him fit in with the gallery a bit more, you know, we got Two-Face, got, you know, his half face split, you know, that's something more or less the Batman gallery goes into pretty often to make villains look very weird and go for the, you know, a little bit dressed up as Batman, but that that's not so something everyone goes with. We also got the best portrayal, in my opinion, was it, which is Robin Lord Taylor in the Gotham show, which is quite fantastic, actually. It got a lot of just very, very fun and cool aspects to the character, and he got a great arc to see him become the villain that he becomes. And I know this video isn't very, very, very uh, meaningful, or you know, it, it's not like speaking of the Joker. Because the Joker is quite a complex character, but this character is pretty plain, to be honest. He was bullied as a child, he becomes a robber, and then Batman shows up. So that's more or less it. And, well, thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this short little video. Hopefully you learned something about Penguin. I know his origin isn't the very most known one. We just know him as a mobster in most of it, and that's it. 
But here was a little origin video about the penguin. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, a comment down below, and a subscription for some extra love. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.